Hey guys, welcome to Unbox Experience. Today we'll be unboxing the Endwalker by Magic Cube Toys. Here's the box. Here at the top, it just says a uh, one six scale action figure. It's the Endwalker, like I already said. It's item F034. Got a little bit of branding there at the bottom. Side of the box, very similar. The back, it's got some, uh, you know, the warnings where it's made. Some disclaimers, things like that. Some nice branded stickers here at the, the bottom, also at the top. Here on the side, there's some staples kind of holding in a little bit of a gap. That's okay, this is more of the shipping box. Go ahead and uh, let's open it up and look at the real box. So here we got a box in a box. Pull this out. Put this to the side. Here's the actual box the figure comes in. What I like about this is there's a box actually protecting the box, which is nice. So here's just kind of a quick look at all the sides of the box. I really like the artwork. Um, it's kind of a smaller box for a 1-6 scale action figure. Usually figures um, come in a box maybe two, sometimes even three times the size. Really like the artwork on the cover. Very cinematic shot. Resembles the movie Book of Eli starring Denzel Washington. Side's a little different than what's on the front. It's kind of more action shots. Here he's got a shotgun. Up here it's pretty cool. It's got the machete, the shotgun in the backpack. On the back we have a full view of everything that it comes with. All the different pieces. It calls it out. The backpack. 45 pistol, shotgun. Up here at the top, the sunglasses. It comes with a head sculpt and a body. That's great. I believe this is one of the first Maxi Cube toys that came with a body. So I'm really anxious to see that. Got the shirt, the long sleeve shirt, the coat, the scarf, the gloves, fingerless gloves. That should be really cool. Pants and boots. Also comes with an MP3 player in the movie Book of Eli. It was an iPod. That's super neat. Here at the bottom of the box, it's similar to the shipping box. It's got the disclaimers and the branding and stuff. I find this really funny. The age recommendation is for children not under three. There's no way I'd let my three-year-old play with this. Side's a little bit different. Some more action shots. Calls out the figure number. Some pretty cool shots with the shotgun and stuff. This one's kind of nice, a little more cinematic. I really like that it's showing him from the back so you can see some of the details like in the backpack and the shotgun, stuff like that. The bottom's got some, some branding, things like that. Call out one six figure. Top, pretty much the same exact thing. So now it's a fun part. Let's go ahead and open it up. Uh, if I can figure out how. Let's... Uh, there we go. So these little flaps just kind of fold out and over. It's a little tough to get open. There we go. So this is nice. These um, kind of tuck away into uh, here to kind of keep dust and things like that out. I appreciate that. This is, uh, looks like it's removable. Some instructions. Kind of a really kind of thick piece of paper. Serve as some protection, so that's nice. A little damaged up here at the top. So here at the top, got a shot of the figure, and then actually below that's a manual. That's kind of kind of cool. Um, the top part of the manual, if you're brave enough, which <laughs> I'm probably not, he can cut some little holes in the jacket to put his machete or or something like that inside of it to make it more movie accurate. And then also there's um, instructions about using a hair dryer if you need to remove the head sculpt or the boots. So it's nice for them to kind of explain that. And at the bottom, just some warnings. Um, interesting, a QR scanner for your phones. Might have to see what uh, that's about. All right, fun part. Let's check it out. The figure in the box. So this is pretty awesome. Um, it's got some uh, foam uh, that kind of serves as the, the protection of the figure during shipping and just storage. A lot of the figures come with plastic clamshell packaging, which... To be honest, I, 
I kind of like that. It seems to hold things in place a little better, protect them a little better. Uh, maybe because this is more uh, slightly cheaper figure, maybe they need to reduce costs, and that's why they decided to go with the foam. But either way, it's super nice. All right, so let's just um, let's just dive in. Let's start with the figure. Take him out here. Glad it came with a, a body and a, and a head. Some of these are more accessory kits. A little plastic uh, protecting on the head, which is great. Kind of helps maybe protect uh, the head sculpt and the painting on it from maybe rubbing against something like this during shipping. I could see, you know, something like that kind of rubbing up against his forehead, maybe damaging the paint or something. Um, so I appreciate them putting the little baggie in. And another little baggie. It's got a neck joint and some hands. I guess with the extra neck joint, Magic Cube Toys is anticipating some collectors may want to swap out bodies. Not really sure. Um, three different hands. Um, two of those have little wrist pegs. For some reason, the third one doesn't. Not quite sure why, but no big deal. Let's see. We got his scarf. Little, uh, little empty space here. Not quite sure why that's in there. What else I find um, interesting and worth noting is kind of the area right here where the boots, the legs go is pretty cramped. If you can see when the figure's in, they're kind of crammed together and even some of the foam's kind of pushing over into that space. What might have been an interesting solution is they could have maybe widened that area a little bit and kind of took over some of that little empty space. I think his legs could have fit a little more comfortably in that space if so. Here's his backpack. This is really cool. A lot of nice details, a lot of straps and little pockets to put things in, even a little holder for his iPod. What else is in there? Another baggie. What's in this? Looks like a bunch of different accessories. The iPod, MP3 player, the gloves. There's little beanies in there, too. All right, the part I'm super excited about, the machete. Oh, this is great. The paint application is outstanding. It's weathered. It's got scratches. The blade just looks so realistic. And then the handle itself, it's it's got like a twine wrapping around it. It's not molded. Super cool. Really impressed with this. Let's see. We got the pistol. This is really nice. Again, another great paint application. It's kind of beat up and weathered like it should. And the shotgun, something else I was super excited about. This is great. The weathering's outstanding. Nice and scratched up. The handle has a twine wrapping, very similar to the machete. The amount of detail is incredible. Very happy with the quality here. I think this is the last thing. It's his glasses. These are pretty cool. Just going to tuck them away up here to protect them, help protect them during shipping. And that's uh, that's pretty much it. So here's the packaging, which I think is pretty good, especially considering the price of this collectible. It's collector friendly, which all of us love. All right, that was unboxing Magic Cube Toys, the Enwalk. I really enjoyed making this video and hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Thanks.